Hello, I'm Jovan Johnson. The police say the driver of a Toyota Coaster public passenger bus who triggered an eight-vehicle collision on Constance Spring Road in St. Andrew on Tuesday morning has 120 outstanding tickets for a range of traffic violations. Minor injuries have been reported from the incident that occurred during morning rush hour in St. Andrew. PNP councillors are now the majority in the St. Thomas Municipal Corporation following the death of Deputy Mayor and ruling JLP councillor Lenworth Rawl. Local Government Minister Desmond McKenzie says Mr. Rawl died on Monday in a U.S. hospital where he had gone after feeling unwell. Roshane Patterson, the man named as a person of interest in the murder of social media influencer Anika Slikiana Townsend, is expected to face the police on Thursday. Deputy Commissioner of Police Fitz Bailey gave the update on Tuesday, more than a week after the woman's body was found in the sea in Reading, St. James. In sports, World Under-20 100m Hurdles champion Kerika Hill has been named a finalist for the 2022 World Athletics Women's Rising Star Award. Ms. Hill won the 100m Hurdles title at the World Under-20 Championships in Colombia in August with a time of 12.77 seconds, the fastest time in the world this year. In your currency trading at midday today, one US dollar was being sold for $154.28, the British pound sterling for $178.83, and the Canadian dollar for $113.77. In your weather forecast, on Wednesday expect showers and thunderstorms across most parishes. And that's it for the Gleaner Minute. Remember to follow us on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram, and like, comment and share on YouTube. I'm Jovan Johnson.